the one cool thing I can say that we are going to do right now, besides win literally every match we're about to play, because we, I mean, that's right, we've only lost one match all year. We're playing Senate in the Europa League quarterfinal, which like amazing draw. Let me refresh your memory on where we are because this is where we are, right at the top of the league. Six points clear of Salzburg and Rapid Vienna after the league split. So the cool thing we're going to do is I'm working on a plan in August. And I, ju I just want I, you know, just put this out in the world so you guys have, you, you know some of the things. There's no reason necessarily to keep this a secret. There is a tournament in Greenland. Uh, there's a tournament in Greenland. It is like the Greenland soccer. It's the Greenland footballing championships, essentially, right? It's it's the Greenland tournament championships. Uh, and just so that you can get excited about future YouTube videos that we're making, I have secured and blocked away the funding, thanks to you guys in part subscribing to this channel, uh, to go with myself and two videographers to literally make... Uh, a two to three video series about the Greenland footballing championship in August. And it's, which is going to be super awesome. Uh, if you've ever seen Parts Unknown with Anthony Bourdain, rest in peace. We totally want to do a show like that, but instead of food, we're talking about football, right? And that is what, that's what we're trying to do. We want to do it once a month. Uh, and with the real intent is to kick that off in August by going to Greenland for a week. Uh, to go to the Greenland Football Championship. We already got messages out to clubs and stuff to see if we can shadow anybody. Uh, and so that that is uh, just, just something to get you excited about it, you know? And we do some live streams from there as well. Just a little something to whet your appetite. Right. Uh, we also have Austria World Cup qualifying coming up after our SV Rid match. Uh, and I've looked at the schedule and it might be the, the easiest qualifying window that you could possibly imagine. Uh, we start with a big time road match against Malta. And then we wash that down with a lovely little home tie against Andorra. So I'm, I mean, we should be able to set the tone in our World Cup qualifying group with that. If we can't, I think we've got larger issues uh, at Austria. Kevin Marquez, Axel Perez, Aliu Vanderhorst, Garzon, Zapata, Nadevari, Torbjornsson, Nova, Schwalkvist, and Leandro. This is good. This is good. They've got a guy named Strahinja Kirkez, which is top five names I've seen in this save. It made me a little more nervous for this game. Michelle Oliveira just signed with the my hometown team from Portugal. They just went up to the second division. That is awesome. Whoa. Whoa there, Sailor. And we're particularly offensive today. I specifically requested goals. We don't have much of the ball. I mean, that's all well and good as long as we create, like, a couple of good goal-scoring chances, but... Not a big possession guy over. Oh my goodness, Steven Marquez. Yes. Oh yes. Aliu. Axel Pen. There it is. Steven Marquez. Yes! He's onside. Oh, thank you. Why was I nervous for this? Why am I nervous in this game? We'll stay high for another 20 minutes finish we were not getting a lot of freaking chances in this game slot of bra thank you so much for the tier one look at the hammers yo yo aliyu slick slick ball <sighs> shoot it ref 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 our zone i did not know Carlos Garzon had that in him to take somebody on the dribble. I, uh, nice finish. I, I did not know. All we needed was for the rain to stop. And then we were going to look great again. Remember, in the first half, we had two shots. Fisherman to teach. Oh, look at that goal! Paulo Cesar! Brilliant! His moments of glory have come far and too few between. That was a special goal to cap the win against SV Rid from Paulo Cesar. That was like his second ever goal for the club. Ever. Nice work.
And Rapid Vienna won. Salzburg pulled out a draw. They scored 79th and then an 88th minute own goal to draw. But I mean, honestly, St. Poulton taking points off them is a positive. And now we have FIFA World Cup qualifying. And we're playing Malta and Andorra. We will be on key highlights. If I fail to win either of these games, I will do a 24 hour stream. We are going to go on attack. I'm not going to waste any time. We are going to play all the way up the field. We're going to get after them. We're going to take them off the ball. We're going to score goals. And <laughs> there is a 24-hour stream on the line here, folks. Let's go, boys. Malta's got a big stadium. What is this? Really investing in the game. I mean, that is it's really solid. A couple layers, a couple uh, sections. I don't think Andorra's going to have the... Oh, good ball, Hannes. Whoa, Fia! <laughs> yes! Hannes Wolf has scored for Austria! And World Cup qualifying is off to the right kind of start. It's only one to nothing. We've had a lion cue. we had a lot of chances. Dario Marisic! Thank you. Loving the content, Zed. Why couldn't the lifeguard save the drowning people? He was too far out. Man. Oh my goodness! Omer Uzer has scored a screamer! 3 0 in Malta. And it's Omer Uzer who's in and out of the Austrian team. He might well be in all the time now. What's a goal? Like, surely not their highlight here. We are not about to concede a highlight. We, we, we are not. No, okay. Thank goodness. Hannes, on the other hand, miles faster than these. Yeah, he's on. 4 and out. We did concede a shot, which I feel like is concerning, but uh, very happy. Nice win. Road trip to Malta done. Yeah, it was early goals always a bonus as well. Hannes got us comfortable early, got us started early. Wow, Czechia lost to Ireland. I do, Ireland might be the biggest threat in this group. Albania beat Andorra 3-1 to one on the road, which is not a threatening score. Ireland beating Czechia 3-1 and having a 3-0 halftime lead is an announcement of intent. Hannes Wolf's outstanding. Yeah, I mean, he's, he's a heck of a player. He's a brilliant player for his national team and... That's a dream come true for me to kick off World Cup qualifying with a result like that. And now we play at the Ernst Toppel Stadion against Andorra. Uh, Offen Gruber off for Danzo, Danilo Yukin for Dario Marizic. I should be able to put out like the worst possible team that I can assemble from these players and still win. That's just not the spirit, though. Schuler off for Baumgartner, Demir, and Seivald, who we tried to rest up so they'd be able to play in this match. And it's Andorra. We are playing Andorra. And if we do anything other than win this game, I owe you guys a 24 hour stream. I <laughs> said up the Andorra. All right, Albania is beating uh, Ireland already. Just back of the net, back of the net. Sasha! I know you guys are in for the 24 hour streams. I, uh, we, we did not give you a lot of time to hope, did we? Sasha Kalajic, he's 6'7". It's not fair. He nods at home in the Ernst Topol Stadion. It is only 1-0 right now, and I don't like that at all. Uh, Yusuf scoring a direct... I mean, there's no way this keeper is any good. Hit the target. Is it mean to celebrate against Andorra? Yusuf Demir... With that Barcelona class just oozing from every pole, has converted the free kick to put Austria up 2-0. I have a sneaking suspicion I've heard that one before, Tom. I do. He's offside. But what, what can I say? We just can't really break through against Andorra. Go ahead and make it...
What's up, Flavius? with the way that was looking for a second. I was like, okay, we just got caught up there. Ireland, you stay drawn there. Checky is going to beat Malta, which like they probably should. Do we have another? We do! Kevin Danso to make it 4-1. They got three shots off. That's better than Malta at home. Andorra away at the Ernstapel Stadion was no joke. Okay, we are top of the group. Probably understandably. Ireland and Albania held out for a draw. Thank you to Albania for their service to our qualification efforts. Time to break in the new stadium. The Carl Yzda 2.0. From 18,000 to 28,000 plus seats. This is our moment. And we, we break in the stadium against... St. Putin, who we should theoretically be able to run off the field. We've increased the seating capacity by over 9,390, well, 9,394 seats to over 28,000 seats. Welcome back to the regular stadium with immediate effect. The objective of expanding the stadium has been realized. The vision for the future is very much taking shape. The Carl Yzda now over 28,000. Condition is, is good. And we are in our stadium at long last. Here's to many more. Is that my boy Victor Leandro at six? And my former lad, Tarius Jogren Jakobsen, is at three. After his move to Brighton, oh my goodness, he's played 27 games in the Premier League at a 6.95. Yeah, no, no, dude, no, I can't. No. I was happy when I saw Leandro at six. Lucas is number one. We literally found the best player in the world and we couldn't do anything about it. We couldn't do a freaking thing. We found the best player in the world and we were too poor. We were too poor to do anything about it. I can't imagine a worse torture for my own brain. He's the best player in, he's the best young player in the world. He's shredding league all. This first season, oh. Uh, we'll check on our Villarreal guy. Now Advari's at 15. We've got three guys inside the top 15 now with Not Advari, Leandro, and Sander Henneman. So that's solid. He's just living his best life. Oh, and then Richardson. We do. Uh, somebody was looking at the number on the top. Josh Richardson, who we loaned back to Rodnik Surdulitska, is on the list. So we do have seven players, including two of the last three on the list. It's all about street cred, though. And we put seven players in the next-gen top 50. We're collecting. I'm going to go with Shodan. I'm going to rest one or two folks for our quarterfinal match, which is coming up in five days. Here we go. The new stadium. The new Carl Yzda. Give me, give me the, give me that whole crowd. Give me that sellout crowd, I hope. Turn the camera around! No! They just made the sides bigger! I wanted a ball! No, it's we we'd already played in the Yizda. They just literally they they actually just like made the, the sides bigger. The Yizda's great. Look, we used to play in a parking lot. It's a great stadium. Just when they said they were adding like 10,000 seats, I hope that meant they were filling in the sides, but they did make it bigger. I mean, it's a, it, we're in a big stadium. It's almost 30,000 people here. Like, get in! Like, we can get to the top level of the game with this ground. I mean, how is that not a card? He's just pushed him to the ground. Uh, that was really, really nice. And then the shot from Axel Perez was really, really not. Nice. Oh, what a touch! Julian! Turn. Steven. Axel! Oh! Oh! Axel! Oh! 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 
Axel Paris with a really big goal to break in the new Carl Easter. Vicious. So nice to have him back in the midfield again. The Mexican abroad. Owen, Julian, Kevin Marquez, Axel Perez, Owen Vanderhorst. Somebody was off. Oh, Valkvist has left this far too. Wow. Oof. Good save. Good read. Good passing to the top level to Given, who we want to be there. Not Advari, who's just a better defender than Sioden, so why not? Oh, Vanderhorst. We're good. We're just not great. Oh, 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 Given with the perfectly timed run. It's all right. Three points is three points this stage of the season. That's awesome. Uh, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna go overboard, but good win. You got to build on these good times. Loving the new stadium. It does its job. Rapid Vienna's got a match in hand, so Salzburg lost. I mean. Oh, we've got some. Uh, we've got an English accent redemption for the Zenit St. Petersburg match, duly noted. We're going to have to get Clive out of the pub to the stadium in time to call the game. You are right that this match is too big for Clive. And so we will do Clive for the St. Poulton match Six next. Months. We will so honor the redemption of the English accent. In my but since we're neutral site, this is not actually a road game because in the update, even though the Russian teams are still allowed to play because you can't just like remove them from ongoing saves. They're not allowed to play at home in European matches. So we are playing neutral site against Zenit and then we are, uh, we get a home match in the second leg. Playing. This looks kind of like the Ernst Oppel. Poland. We're in uh, Davi, Poland, a 58,500 seat stadium. I'm assuming the Polish National Stadium. I don't know. Okay, cool. Switch! Oh! Seconds in. That's given Florenzdorf for the lead against Russia's Giants. Oh my goodness. He's a Dorfer through and through, and he's just caught the keeper out of position. That was so bad. <laughs> C plus, Barrett. It was bad. That didn't mean I didn't like it. It means it was based so obviously off. I like the aggressive bent, though. Given Marquez seeing the ball go in the back of the net. Yo, nice supersonic. Congratulations. Yes. Vanderhorst! Dude, it looked like he was going to be able to control that and get a shot on target again. Aliyu. Good. Aliyu. Axel. Oh, my goodness! Maybe the better team so far. It's not a good goal to give up, though. It's always it's following these strikers too far up, and that's what opens up these channels. But yeah, pass is wide open because we've just followed Soka whatever Sokolov. He's just followed him all the way up the field, and I really that always bothers me. Good. Play him. Oh, yo, he's in. Good pass. Good pass. Good run. Everything but the goal. Oh, how I wish we had Xander Henneman. 
Zapata, Vanderhorst. Yes, Aliu! Aliu! Boom! Come on, man! That's all Aliu. You need Brandt! That's yeah! all Aliu. He gets the call of the German people. They did it to us. We did it to them. Their center back stayed with our striker. Aliu saw the space. Gabby Barbosa just missed a pen for Ajax. I know that's not what I should be paying attention to, but that is funny. Oh, yes! Fernando, the no-look pass. Vanderhorst really wanted to go for it. He did. Sretskovic is in! Play him. Play him. Cross! Come on, Linus. This guy sounds fresh. <sighs> so it, it, this is on um, not Advari. Watch the step that he takes when the ball is played. His first step is in, and we're just all out of position. He thinks he has to go cover over there, and all of a sudden, everybody's open. Let's go. Let's get that goal. Let's get that goal. Oh, yo. Yes. The highlight is still going on. Thanks for asking. Pablo. Oh, baby. It's the captain. Fresh off a month and a half away with injury. Who has scored the goal to put Florence Dorfer in front. Pablo Rodriguez, it's just his third goal of the season, but the old wise captain from Owen van der Horst. What a finish. Middle, 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 turn around. Thanks. Garzon, that's amazing. This is really good. these newfangled signings and it's the old hats that pull out a 4-2 win and a bench brace for Pablo Rodriguez and Vanderhorst with four goal contributions on the day that was outstanding that was outstanding now Tottenham scored five second half goals to basically end it against Hertz at Real Madrid one at Aston Villa 2-0 uh, and Ajax and Villarreal drew at two so that's their situation. We play the winner of Tottenham against Hertha Berlin. And unless there is absolute chaos, that will be Tottenham in the semifinal. But we've got St. Poulton first. Away to St. Poulton on the eighth. I will start Yildiz there and then just sub him out late for somebody. So we shouldn't have played Yildiz in the U19s match the day before. And then our rotation would have been fine. But we did. This is not an easy game. Obviously, because we're in the championship group, and there are no easy games. It's great. Well, there's eight matches left to go in the Austrian Bundesliga, and it is Floridsdorfer that control their own destiny. Six points clear with those eight matches left to go. It's the final tie between St. Pölten and Floridsdorfer this season. They won 1-0. Floridsdorfer did at home in this tie less than a week ago, and now they face it once more. St. Pölten featuring one lone E from Floridsdorf for a unique spectacle in the game. Rodriguez held up for San Rogel. On towards Yildiz! Market. Back post! And oh, that is a save and a half from Victor Leandro. Rogel. Wins the aerial duel. Pras and Elmich. And on for Zimmerman. And it's blocked again by Oberschmidt. He's got his foot in. The timing in the challenge. Exceptional from the number 30 in blue. Cesar. Rodriguez. Julian Knapp. And it's gone to Pablo. Back to Julian Knapp. 
And turnover there from St. Poulton, and it's Pablo Rodriguez who's picked the ball up again, looking to progress. He's got options. He drops it to Paulo Cesar. Axel Perez, Julian Knapp, Perez, Pablo Rodriguez! And Schmidt has come up massive. Tomic. Oh, it's Lang. Is he onside? Lang is onside, and he scores the goal for St. Poulton. And now Zeeland Shannon's pacing up and down the bench, surveying potential options. And he has a big one. His name is Sander Hinneman. He's been away for some three months, and he's going to come in and try to save the day. Another substitution is in play as well. It's Joshua Aliu. Rodriguez, Axel Perez. The deep pickup. It's Sander Hinneman. It's Pablo. It's Sander Hinneman. And they've got in on goal again and failed to beat Schmidt. With a pep in his step, Sander Hinneman. Cesar. Axel Perez. Aliu. Great movement from Paulo Cesar. And it's building now for Hinneman. On to Pablo Rodriguez. And he's put it home again. The captain from Florence Silver AC. 1 1. When you absolutely need the goal, it's Pablo Rodriguez. And they might not be done. Florence Dolphin can smell the blood in the water now. They've got St. Poulton on their heels. Ragel. Pablo! Oh, what a goal! Oh, come on! A match that's so important for the title race and for European aspirations for St. Poulton, who need a top five finish and sit in sixth. Oh, Rodriguez, what a pass to Cesar! And what a save by Schmidt! Cat-like again off his line. Cesar's movement causing problems, but he's not had the finished product. Cesar, he's got to have a pass. It's Henneman! And it's a goal that seals a huge three points with eight matches to go in the season. And it's Florence for this one the day. 3-1 on the road. It was hard won by Pablo Rodriguez, Sander Hinneman, and Paulo Cesar and company. Now we responded well. Hinneman was great. Rodriguez was obviously great. <laughs> yes, Rapid Vienna drop points. Salzburg went on the road against Rapid Vienna and did us a really major favor. When is Vanderhorst eligible for Austria this summer? He's officially eligible. He should be working on his... He's no Ben. No. He's only played in friendlies for the U.S. What do you mean he's he's no benefit? I, I have to be able to talk to him. Surely there's an option to talk to him. You know why he sees no benefit? Because he's already he already has Dutch. He's already EU. He sees no benefit because he's already EU. So why would he get another EU? And, and all I need in the game is an option to be like, hey, dude, I will call you up to Austria. You can play for me. What am I doing? Aliu there. Vanderhorst is, I like just forgot Vanderhorst existed for a second, which is sacrilege, but we found him. Obershmied, Shoden, Regel, Adrian Rodriguez, Garcon, Stratskovich, Sander Henneman is a second half sub for whoever is struggling as striker. Okay. Here we go. Time to dwarf. Can you imagine we've come all the way to this stadium? It does look significantly bigger than the, the original Yizda. All the way to this stadium from that parking lot. Sold out over 28,000 in Vienna. On a European night. Always in the rain. Oh, Given. Oh, behind him. Oh, wait, you. Oh, 
Volkvist, Garcon. That's right, just so we keep them on their heels. Oh, Given. Pablo, it's what he lives for. I, I, I really thought that was him. I'm so sorry to mislead. Oh, yes, Vanderhorst. And so, of course, it's Owen Vanderhorst with the run. Weak footed finish on the short hop volley. Owen Vanderhorst. Yo. Yo. No, 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 no. He was off. Good block. Come on. What are you waiting for? Good. Even. Pablo. Pablo. Naturally. Mine, mine. Oh, we cannot be losing that to Sokolov, boys. Okay. Just going to go ahead and sit and look at this for a second because apparently we've just decided to stop playing. Just do that. Put Oberschmied in the middle. Have the better, faster center backs on the outside. Nober Schmied's just there. Drop Garzone here. This is a natural position for him anyways. Do double center mids and attack and bring the wing backs up. Uh, there you go. Get in the channel. Advance the ball as much as you can, then slow down. That's, that's our game. That's your game there. Oh my goodness, is that on? Are we closing down Sokolov? I, I, there's nothing else I can do to get us to stop closing down Sokolov. All right, we got a new ball game. They've scored every chance, and we have like, we're just not listening. So, all right, Volkvist, Van, oh, in the middle, 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 middle. Ah. Oh, behind you, or Volkvist. That's a better ball. Close the freaking bottle factory. Of all people, it's not at Vari. Linus had about eight chances to make a good pass from over here. The defense just collapses on Hinneman like crazy. Linus goes for not at Vari. That, mm, yes! That was way too annoyingly close. But we were the better team in both legs. We deserved to win the tie. And we got there. <sighs> okay, we have won. And Hertz of Berlin actually won too, but they couldn't make up the five goal deficit. Real Madrid won and Ajax won it 2 0. So the semifinals are set. We got a nice $2 million paycheck. Our schedule is rearranged because we have Tottenham.